And Evan Longoria had options this offseason, either go back and play with the Giants or go play the two places he had houses, Tampa Bay or Arizona. He decided to come home. He's the new kid that lives down the block. You know, the drive has been really nice in the morning, um, five minutes up the road. Evan Longoria didn't come to the desert to retire. You know, I didn't sign a contract here to be a coach, you know, or, or a manager or a mentor or anything like that. Three-time All-Star is ready to play, signing a one-year deal with the D-backs in the offseason. It's not a situation where I just want you to go and coach these young players up. Um, I expect you to come in here and, and, and do the things that I've watched you do for a very long time at a very high level and help us win baseball games because you're a very good baseball player. 37 years old has never felt so young when you're surrounded by some of the top young talent in baseball. I told my wife that the other day. It's definitely like, um, you know, inspiring and, and, you know, gives me energy every day showing up. I won't call them kids, you know, these are these are men now, but seeing that, that desire to, to be great. Going on 16 big league seasons, Longoria has plenty of baseball wisdom to share I hope to, to be able to like point guys in, in the right direction, you know, kind of answer questions if need be, and um, mainly just be kind of like a sounding board. Manager Tori Lavelle noticing that missing from last year's team, a veteran guy to get everybody together away from the field. I explained to him some, some of the deficits we had uh, with, with guys um, being able to corral the group, take them out to dinner. It happens on this team. It does but he likes it to happen more often, and I do too. And as for this year's team, he's got a good read on the guys and knows the stats. Sounds like a coach. We have guys who can do everything. Walk 36 homers last year. Marte has the ability to hit just as many. I'm hoping to add some power to the lineup. And Corbin Carroll, I think, is the fastest guy in baseball. Um, you know, Alex Thomas, Jake McCarthy, the guys that can really run it down in the outfield. And we're returning a, a gold glover at short, too. A lot to look forward to. I think all the abilities there, like I said, we just need to figure out how to win. The first order of business for any new guy Find a throwing buddy. Rojas, I told him I need you to be my, my throwing partner because I don't want to be searching for you know a new guy every day. So I made sure I uh, I claimed somebody right away. And uh, you know th those it, it's funny how you know how far those little things go. It's like the first day of school. Mm -hmm. You got to find that best friend to throw with <laughs> yes. and run with when you're the new guy in school, guys. It's it's there's a lot of optimism. There are a lot of young guys on this team. But it wouldn't surprise me if they shocked some folks this year, which yeah. is good for baseball in the Valley because it's been a few years. Good yeah. to have that veteran leadership. Yeah, they needed it. Yeah. Yep. Cam, thanks.